Hello everybody. The, in this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to deal with a precipitation in the Plex software. This is a common agricultural problem as the precipitation may vary daily due to weather conditions. So we are going to name this project title to precipitation as our model have to y maximum for 5 meters then press ok we can use the material of soil which is plugged in the software so I will choose sand and soft clay then I will make sure that the flow parameters are works properly so I'm going to use sand as medium you can use the default values for kx and ky and kz you can also modify it manually okay then hit okay and about the soft clay flow parameter choose very fine you can even modify it Hit OK then we have to create a porthole lug. The first will be the soft clay to minus two and the sand as our boundary layer. We are setting the head to minus one. This one here, then hit OK. Then we are going to structure tab. We don't need even to put anything in this tutorial. I'm going to meshing. Set the mesh to medium. Then proceed to stage construction. Hit edit phase. We don't need here to K node procedure unless we are doing a flow deformation fully coupled model so we are going to groundwater table flow only then we are going to add a new phase change the spore pressure calculation to transit groundwater flow time interval for 15 days then we are going to This, this step here is to, to store more and more steps just if, if you put here one this indicates that the last step only were stored as a result so I need all the steps you can hit it on modify it for whatever you want then hit ok come into phase one then attribute library hit right click on flow function hit edit this our precipitation isn't a hit function but it's a discharge function so we'll add new you can use it harmonic linear and you can use it for table I'll rename it to precipitation precipitation Then you can put this type of uh, discharges per days. The positive one indicates that there is rain, and the negative one indicates the evaporation process. Then hit OK. Comment to model condition and activate the precipitation here in time dependency. We can have it time dependent as we have <coughs> added the discharge function. Then you have to run, ignore. So the calculation has been finished. 
In the initial phase, you can see that stress, pool water pressure, ground water head is uniform of minus one meter. And the ferritic surface is set here. As we have stored the steps through, through this one here, the maximum number of steps stored, we can view some of the steps. This is the initial step and this is the phase one step. You can click here to switch between phases and you can see all of the steps is told. In this step, step like seven, the ferritic surface here indicates about evaporations or the precipitation fall here. And you can calculate it, it's 100 steps for 15 days it's 100, oh, I'm sorry, 15 over 100. So the interval indicates about 0.15 day. So in this first step here, we haven't applied the precipitation as time zero, it's zero. So in the day one, we have discharge about 0.1 in day two and day three. So the ground water will hesitate as you see here the precipitation fall and the ferritic surface it changes versus time I need to see some of evaporation so I'm going to 58, not 58, 72. Yes, see about the ferritic surface in the evaporation. And this is the last step. So thank you for watching. See you later.